Hey everyone, welcome back to Scarlet Nexus, here at the hospital. I truly am grateful for all the viewers and subscribers, truly am. So let's get right down to it, shall we? Looks like there's a resource reading. I'm using the Sukumi! Inside the building, probably somewhere very hard to get to. Maybe. Other. Hi, other. Here we go. The other. Anyway, you're talking. Whatever. Let me borrow this. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Listen. saying it wasn't what's this mysterious data Got some data mysterious data you are creepy I don't care what people say holograms are I can disrupt the security system with major general Fabuki's program to go proceed safely understood cool why is this behind there? There. That thing is creepy as hell. Oh, I can't go upstairs. Okay, wonderful. Creepy. Yeah, yeah, they do it. Hi. Break the outer shell and keep attacking. Oh. 
covered in oil. It should burn with a little fire. You are right. It should burn. Get ready. This has my ass. Bastards. Where's this go? right now where I need to go I guess that was a good attack in a way. Could have been better. I can't teleport. Why can't I teleport? What's the invisible bastard in this car? There are invisible bastards in here. Oh. 
Regroup now. I don't remember the fucking layout of this building. It's not like I come here all the time. Oh, look, here's a mysterious cube again. Nice, damn it. Oh, that's right. I want to get that mysterious cube out of the way. This reminds me of Dead Man, uh, Dead Gray Man, or whatever you want to call it. Gray. Some help, Luca. I can't think of how you pronounce it, but it's a guy that goes after dead people. Or people that cry, mourn, mourns over the dead. And for some reason they become like demons. The guy has a cursed arm. Something weird. Oh, hi fellas. I have to. Ow. Thank you. Some help, Luca. 
Why are there cells in the hospital? Man, I know it's used for experiments, but still. Why? Gray man, that's what I'm taking off. D Gray man. At all. They might fuck with my head. That thing is still freaking creepy. 
Yumito, use my power with SAS. Time to use this. Spray something like oil. Don't get on you. Keep finding them. I don't know what the exactly what the hell they are. They're data cubes, mysterious data cubes. I'll take those. Oh, that's not creepy. Hey! 
can hit it. Any really more of them? I guess there is. Here we go. Big guy. Doesn't this look familiar? It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. 
because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me you need to be alive when I bring you in! Uh, damn it. Don't get burned! Some help, Luca! So stop it, Nagi. Nagi. I don't want to fight Nagi. you! Nagi, come on, man. Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight this. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. I'm not gonna so let you kill my be? squad. Fuck you. I'm not killing my squad mates. Don't let the personality rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You and Toe is your friend. Get back That's here. why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friends the right path. Come here, you damn mini user. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities suddenly changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop them from now. I didn't know Nagi could fight this one. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Uh, for what? There might be an opening. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's is he invisible? No, I must right there. Ow. Do you need help? I mean, oh no, Twister. We use teleportation. Some help, Luca. Come on, yeah, Fumi. Too 
bad for you. I'm not done yet! Yeah. <laughs> Guys! <sighs> you in tow! Test now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. You're okay. It's all over. Mommy. <laughs> A dream about my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell. Where am I? Huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. <sighs> Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! <sighs> Are you alright? Major General Fubuki? How... The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you. ...and then used you as... ...as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked... ...inside a room. There was... ...strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. 
But Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it. No matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go! You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. I had no power. I was a dun. I'm more confused than shocked. Let's see it's that. too much oh, to that's... take in. Just have to take in. I can still fight. Nagi must have attacked Yuito under orders from the new Kimuka government. Whoa. We should consider him as being completely under the government's control. Yeah, I'm still suspicious. How? Oh. You could just be playing the part. Damn, here we go. Oh, I can hit it. I mean, we did find some mysterious cubes, but I guess they weren't meant for his memories? For Nagi's memories? Well, I kind of want to explore this place. Ow! It's down! Give it everything you've got! Wait, does that mean Karen and our Karen and our Hey, Yuko is also Leave it to me. Are they also close? Oh, Yuko. And they they said that they were experiments too. So were they duds too? They were duds too. Where's this one go? Oh boy. Major General Karin? Yuito, it looks like you finally become a traitor too. What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, New Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. 
They're both twisted. They're both crazy. Then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Hiboka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this. I won't. Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. The drugs are simply giving you time, so you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? Most likely saving Pabuki. Should we be helping him? No. Come back to the hideout. Major General Fubuki wanted me to tell you not to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back, so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru! What are you doing here? I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape to the hideout if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokosho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So, he told Wataru to come here, since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where this hideout was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others. So I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. Yuito. It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for Arahabaki, a one-time-use key code generator. Why would he give something that important to... Major General Fubuki entrusted the key code generator to you, because he thought he might not come back alive. Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. My brother saved Fubuki. I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. That reminds me. I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but you have powers. What are you saying? You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? 
that you used to be a dud? Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Yeah, we're just worried about you. It's only natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens, you know we have your back. Thanks. All right. We should rest here a little bit and figure out what to do next. <laughs>